right, let's see what do we have next. <coughs> oh, technology stuff. So we do a lot of filming. Um, the whole environment is really hard on the gear. Our laptops have fared pretty well because um, we keep them in the boat, and whenever we go to shore, we always put them in a dry bag. So we've had some laptops on board for the whole trip, and they've been fine. But it's the cameras that really, really take a beating. So we kind of have, like, most of our cameras, even the ones that we keep in a waterproof case, we can maybe get, like, two years out of. And then they're, some of them one year, and then they're just, the salt water and the air just corrodes everything inside. Um, so this is some of the equipment we have on Delos for doing the editing. Um, we're using Adobe Premiere, and this is the girls working on a, one of the stop motion intros with the camera. This is the latest edition that we bought. It's the drone, which is really cool. Um, this is me losing my, my smartphone in the, in the alligator-infested river. Like, no. And I really thought about going in for it. <laughs> um, but later on, we found out that in this ferry body, there's a seven meter clock that lives there. So I'm really, really glad that I didn't, uh, didn't go for it. But uh, we were able to get the drone, by the way, because that was just controlling the camera so I could still land the drone um, and record the whole thing. So, yeah. Um, <clears throat> So I think I already talked about that. Uh, here's some of the stuff we use for our filming. We have pretty just basic gear. This is just a standard camcorder. It'll do like you know, 1920 by 1080 and 720 low HD stuff. Just fine, a couple hundred dollars. But um, the thing I would probably change if I were to get another one is it has the, the viewer, and it's really bright. <laughs> wherever we are, so whenever we look, uh, I really wish it had a viewfinder because the screen kind of becomes useless. Something to think about if you're looking at a camera, you know. Um, here's what we do for diving. We have uh, we had a G12, but now we have a G15 uh, in an underwater case. <coughs> Pretty good quality. I think it's good for like 50 or 60 meters depth or something like that. Um, this is really a super camera. It takes really good video in low light, so um, we can get some good good footage on that one. And this is actually one of our favorites that we have. Um, it's a tough camera, so it's waterproof, but not for diving, but it's cool for snorkeling. You can take it to the beach, don't really get a lot of sand in it, you don't have to worry about if you're riding around in the dinghy and you get splashed by a wave. Um, it's kind of our go-to camera, so whenever we go we always usually have this one with us, and uh, these have been lasting us about, well, we've had this one a year, a year yeah. so. um, but I eventually think it's already starting to do weird things, like the buttons are so, I mean, when they say it's waterproof, they mean it's waterproof if you use your camera when you take it to the beach on a holiday, not necessarily every day on the beach, like, <laughs> torturing the thing, you know, which <laughs> is what we do. Um, but yeah, I think they have a TG3 now, and we've, the photo quality is, is, is pretty good for what it is, especially for underwater macro shots for snorkeling. It does an amazing job. Um, so I thought I'd talk a little bit about some of the technology that we, that we use on board. Um, I had a sat phone, but that was a little bit expensive because we weren't really using it. So I, I discontinued that. We have uh, an SSB on board, and I have it hooked up to a Pactor modem. So that's how we do all of our email on board, and it's it's worked everywhere in the world for us. And uh, it's not the fastest thing, but it's it's completely free. Um, so this is a little program that I kind of wanted to show. This is uh, airmail. So let's say that you're, and you can use this with the sat phone as well. Has anybody ever used this program before? No. It's been? No? Um, so what this will do is it, it, it compresses all the messages beforehand so that if you're using a single sideband radio, it's quicker. And if you're using a sat phone, then you end up paying less airtime because everything's a lot quicker. So uh, it has all these cool built-in catalogs. So if, for instance, you're looking for 
uh, let's say, Pacific weather forecasts, maybe in the islands. You can go and you can select uh, these different kind of files, like, okay, we'll go to Caribbean coastal and I want the off you know, forecast for this particular region. You check it, you send that off. A few minutes later, you get a reply back that has uh, the text files in it with the weather report. Um, by far, what we use the most is uh, grib files. Is anybody familiar with those? Yeah. Yeah? So the way this one works, you just select an area. We'll select Australia and Southeast Asia. Say, okay, I want this every 24 hours for the next three days. Click send. That request <coughs> goes off. A couple minutes later, I get the grib file back. And this is an example of a grib file. Um, it actually kind of saved our butt in the Philippines. So this is, uh, this is northern Philippines. This is Palawan. And Indonesia would be kind of south down here. But watch, watch what happens. And Delos at this time was, <clears throat> we were sailing around like right in here. Well, there's really not, this is the island of Bahol in the Philippines. And um, as we start playing through, on the east you start to see this right there. And when you see something like that in the Philippines, you're like, ah, oh, I want to get out and go so, you know, get somewhere safe where there's a good anchorage, a typhoon anchorage, because these tropical depressions that roll through, you know, this is exactly what Katrina looked like before it turned into a cat. This one, I think, only got up to 60 or 70 knots or something. So it's still a serious storm. Um, but you know, we got three or four <coughs> days advance on that. We were able to move Delos to the southern tip of this island where there's a, a hurricane hole and just wait for the storm to pass. But the other interesting thing is we wanted to get north and it was the northeast monsoon. So watch what happens after this thing passes through. These northeast winds, they back and they quit and then they leave you, you know, the, the, it takes the wind and it sucks everything with it. So if you see a pattern in these guys and you can actually, you know, we followed this one after it went through, then we went up right behind it because they always head towards Taiwan, and we just got sucked north. Um, had like an awesome sail over two days. It would have been like five days of beating had we gone, you know, before. So, um, yeah, there's a lot of cool, cool resources. Uh, this so this is a a grib.us. So if you go to this website, grib.us, you can do this um, over broadband. You can just select an area like that. Uh, Select what you want, and then download the grib file and look at it. It's free. It doesn't cost any money. So this one, if you go to this website, it's just this, earth.nullschool.net. It'll show you an animation of the weather patterns over the entire planet. Um, so sometimes I just kind of look at this and just dream of ways, you know, to go from country to country and across the Pacific. And you can see how, you know, these are really sweet uh, really sweet trade trade winds right here, crossing. You you know you wouldn't want to be down here. Um, so one of the reasons why it was a good time for us to take a break now is because uh, we want to get this way over here through the Malacca Straits. And right now you can see that there's uh, kind of southwesterly monsoon flow. So when we come back in December, we'll see that this northeasterly stuff will have moved down and we'll, we'll have the wind at our back to get through to Singapore and stuff. So, um, yeah, this is, so there's something awful here. I wouldn't want to be there. Yeah. Okay. I think I already talked about 3G stuff. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, of course. How much time do you spend on the uh, and Um we usually if we're if we have internet we check weather every day. Um, if we don't and we're using the SSB and we're sailing, we still check it every day. Um, if we're kind of in an area where it's real difficult, then like every two days or Never more than that, really. Um, there's some, like, if you're in a 
country with yacht clubs and things. The Philippines, for example, if you go to talk to the yacht club, they'll set you up with an SMS alert. So anytime any dangerous weather system was seen approaching the Philippines, then you get a text message on your phone, and then you kind of know that way. So, um, but yeah, pretty often. So let's see what do we have next. <coughs> Oh, technology stuff. So we do a lot of filming. Um, the whole environment is really hard on the gear. Our laptops have fared pretty well because um, we keep them in the boat, and whenever we go to shore, we always put them in a dry bag. So we've had some laptops on board for the whole trip, and they've been fun. No. And I really thought about going in for it. <laughs> But later on, we found out that in this ferry body, there's a seven meter clock that lives there, so I'm really, really glad that I didn't, uh, didn't go for it. But uh, we were able to get the drone, by the way, because that was just controlling the camera, so I could still land the drone um, and record the whole thing. But it's the cameras that really, really take a beating. So we kind of have like most of our cameras, even the ones that we keep in a waterproof case, we can maybe get like two years out of. And then they're, some of them one year, and then they're just, the salt water and the air just corrodes everything inside. Um, so this is some of the equipment we have on Delos for doing the Yeah. Um, all So I think I already talked about that. Uh, here's some of the stuff we use for our filming. We have pretty just basic gear. This is just a standard camcorder that'll do like, you know, 1920 by 1080 and 720 low HD stuff. Editing, um, using the Adobe Premiere, and this is girls working on a, one of the stop motion intros with the camera. This is the latest edition that we bought. It's the drone, which is really cool. Um, this is me losing my, my smartphone in the, in the alligator infested river. <laughs> <laughs> 